Hello Umut here, welcome to another video. I'm going to create another art journal today. I'm using my Moleskin sketchbook and as usual I stick two pages together to make my pages stronger. Today I'm aiming to have some texture on my background. I have this background stamp that is really beautiful. I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powder. So I'm using my Versamark. Before that uh, I remember to use my embossing tool. Uh, this is powder that I uh, put around the page for the embossing powder not to stick anywhere but where I stamp with uh, Versamark. This way I will have this texture at the background in a very subtle way when I apply paint uh, over my pages. It will be really subtle, it won't be so obvious, but it will add a nice texture, so it will be more interesting. Today I'm going to use clear embossing powder, this is by Ranger, but you can use uh, according to what you wish to create, white or black or any other uh, embossing powder, uh, to make it uh, more interesting, like creating contrasting looks uh, or uh, having tons of uh, paint that goes with your embossing powder so there are many uh, options I heat set my embossing uh, powder uh, I know you don't see it because it's clear uh, embossing powder now I am covering my pages with a very light gesso this is by Faber-Castell uh, to prepare my pages uh, for the paint that I am going to put on top And today I'm going to use my gorgeous inks. These are eyes inks. Uh, they are uh, very pigmented, uh, concentrated uh, inks uh, that you can apply. You can color your images or use it on a background. They have a, sort of a shimmer to them. You will see the colors I'm using uh, while I'm applying it on the screen. Uh, and. Uh, I uh, had a little bit of it uh, to try uh, how it will look and it's really uh, very vibrant. Uh, I decided to apply it uh, directly on my page. I will use the tones of yellows and oranges to create my background. So I'm starting with the lightest color, going to darker colors and uh, giving some uh, variance to my page. I will sometimes use my uh, brush or uh, wet wipe or my fingers to apply my uh, paint according to the transparency or uh, density I want to see on my page. While I uh, apply my paint uh, I can also tell you you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as usual as well as the close up pictures of the project. I'm not sure if you can catch it, uh, but uh, the color is uh, really, really vibrant and uh, it's uh, quite shiny. So it looks uh, very nice and uh, actually the texture that I put behind is coming through in a very subtle way, which makes it nice. And now I'm switching to the darker color, which is Mimosa. I'm going to apply it with my finger. I find it uh, easier actually. Uh, and uh, I want a little bit more control and uh, it's easy, it feels easier to blend. And now I'm uh, going to apply a little bit uh, orange, this is the lighter tone which is mango. Playing with the colors uh, to create a background is actually my favorite part. You plan for it sometimes, but there is always a surprise factor when you put down the colors. Uh, they create amazing effects uh, and I really like to see it. So far so good. Uh, I am applying the final color which is saffron and it's the darker one so I'm going to apply it mostly on the edges. It's the first time I'm using these inks on a large uh, area like this uh, but I am very very happy. Probably I will use them more and more. Uh, 
and uh, I'm applying a little bit of uh, lighter colors to make the transition and blending a little bit uh, smoother. So this is Mimosa. And here is my background. I am super happy. I hope uh, you are catching the uh, texture on the background which makes it uh, very elegant actually. Now for added interest, I'm going to do some stamping. Uh, this uh, is uh, one of my favorite uh, background stamps actually. A script stamp from uh, Penny Black. It's really elegant. I'm using a tone of uh, yellow and a tone of orange that goes with my page from Memento uh, ink pads. And as you see, I'm doing stamping uh, randomly here and there uh, to make it more interesting. Time to add some texture. This is faded dots uh, stencil from uh, Tim Holtz. I'm using my uh, modeling paste and again I, I will apply this randomly uh, on my page uh, here and there. I think I am finished with the background work. This is how it looks and now I'm going to move to my focal points. These are uh, flowers that I cut with my digital machine. Uh, I will give you the links below but uh, they are really simple flowers. Uh, you can draw and cut yourself or, or use the stamps that you like. It doesn't matter. As you see I'm coloring my flowers with uh, distress inks. Uh, three colors I'm using uh, that was on the screen. I'm starting with a uh, spiced marmalade in the mid in the center of the flower. Then I am uh, coloring to red, and then to give some uh, more shading, I'm using a darker uh, red on the very edges. I will only show you one, and uh, I will color all the rest uh, by myself. And here they are all my flowers. Now I'm going to decide on the composition where I'm going to place them. And on some of my flowers I want to layer one on top of each other to make it more uh, uh, interesting and dimensional. So I'm uh, putting the small flower on top of the big flower, uh, sticking them only in the middle with a gel medium I'm using here. And I'm lifting uh, the small flowers uh, petals uh, upwards, uh, so on the page they will look uh, dimensional. I'm going to uh, stick my flowers with a matte medium. But you will see that after I stick my uh, first flower, I realize I color these uh, flowers with distress ink, uh, which is uh, not permanent, it moves with gel medium, water, anything. So I'm going to make a mess on my beautiful yellow uh, background. So I'm using this product to actually uh, seal my uh, colors on the flowers, my distress ink. I actually looked for my uh, microglaze, uh, which is from uh, Ranger again, to seal it, but I couldn't find it. But this is basically the same. It is cold wax, uh, so if you apply it with your fingers on the distress ink, anything that you color with it, it will seal the color and then it won't smudge with water or uh, matte medium. So it's a lifesaver, definitely. I will link uh, both products, Microglaze and this one uh, down below at the description area for you to choose. Another use of these uh, wax is uh, prevent your pages from sticking uh, each other uh, when you uh, apply when you do some paste work like I did here uh, when you close your book it sticks if you just apply this wax on the areas that has that texture actually it will help uh, to close your book and then uh, not uh, for the pages uh, not to stick to each other with all this uh, talking, I uh, sticked all my flowers and uh, I cut the excess and I really like them, uh, quite dimensional and there are uh, there is a variance of flowers as well. 
Now it's time for shading. Uh, I'm using this uh, Faber Castell uh, big brush marker to do some shading around my flowers. This way they will belong to the page, blend, to blend uh, into the page better. Uh, otherwise it looks very flat and separated. It will be a little bit difficult uh, because they are very close to each other. Uh, but uh, I will uh, try and uh, definitely manage. So here it is. And I'm going to use this stencil from 13 Arts. Uh, I wanted to create some splashes uh, around my uh, flowers like they are splashes of paint because uh, you will see it will be related to my uh, sentiment that I want to use. I'm using a black ink. Uh, I'm using my archival ink here for it uh, to be permanent, not to smudge and smear afterwards. And I apply it uh, through the stencil uh, in the areas that I want to see it uh, with my finger dabber. This black color uh, creates a really nice contrast compared to my uh, yellowish orange uh, background and uh, red flowers. So I'm really happy with the effect. And in the end it looks really so realistic, so I'm super happy. Now it's time to stamp my sentiment, uh, which you will see will be related to the scenery that I created. I'm using two alphabet uh, stamp sets. Uh, one is uh, my uh, very much loved Dovecraft little uh, alphabet uh, stamp set. And the other is uh, warm letters uh, from uh, Tim Holtz. Using different alphabet sets uh, on the page actually makes it uh, more interesting and uh, draws the eye to the sentiment. And my sentiment is, uh, as the sun uh, colors flowers, so does art colors life, which I really really love. That's why I have all these beautiful flowers and uh, some splashes of paint around them. I will just uh, complete these uh, uh, parts that are not uh, stamped well with my Faber-Castell brush pen. And because I have all this black, I used uh, some liquid pearl uh, at the center of my flowers and I left it overnight because it needs to dry well. I will just do some highlights with my white gel pen uh, on my sentiment. And actually I want to do it on my flowers too, but remember I used the uh, wax, uh, so it's not performing well, uh, so no worries, I will do my highlights with uh, acrylic paint with a very thin brush here. And of course I will do some splashes uh, while I have the paint uh, on my table. And actually I realized I have this uh, stamp uh, from Stamperia that goes very well with this page, uh, a line of uh, brushes. So I decided to stamp it at the top of my page. I'm using Distress uh, ink here for black uh, for a reason because my page is uh, almost done uh, and I don't want to spoil it if I don't like it. In the end I really like it uh, but uh, I didn't want to take the risk using a permanent ink like uh, archival ink uh, in case if I didn't. I just stamped it a couple of times uh, uh, because it didn't stamp uh, very well and I'm completing it uh, adding a couple of brushes on the light, right and left and the page is done. I really love the spirit of it actually uh, coming from the sentiment and how the design is uh, completing that sentiment and I enjoyed so much using my eyes inks. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as uh, I enjoyed creating it. If you did, please don't forget to give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. That's how I know you like watching my projects. 
leave me comments I love uh, reading what you think what you want to see uh, your questions again list of supplies are down at the description area thanks for watching and hope to see you next time